Inside this home on the right, a 6 a.m. phone call from Israeli intelligence carries a terse warning. Get out. A neighbor records what happens next in this mobile phone video. A warning rocket from an Israeli drone strikes the roof, then this. One minute and 10 seconds later, this is all that was left. This is increasingly a tactic of the Israeli military, where a little over a minute can mean the difference between your family's life and death. Somehow, every member of the Nofel family makes it out alive. Neighbors acknowledge some of them work for Hamas. Anyone who does this is not normal. There should be retaliation for everything they do. But we hope things calm down. War brings war. In some cases, neighbors say there was no warning. Five were killed by an airstrike Friday in the Egyptian border town of Rafah. They had no idea. The Israelis gave them no warning to evacuate from the building. They didn't send a warning rocket. The Israeli army calls these houses military operational sites. The neighbors call them friends' homes. Few institutions are left untouched. This is what's left of the Dar es Salaam Mosque, where an airstrike injured 22. They hit more than 22 government buildings. We don't know why Israel's attacking these buildings. Late Saturday, the Qassam Brigades, the military wing of Hamas, warns it will strike Tel Aviv with a new, more powerful rocket. The Israeli army says the Iron Dome defense system explodes three mid-air. A fourth, they say, lands harmlessly in a field. The Israeli army warns, tonight we will send messages to northern Gaza residents urging them to leave their homes for their own safety. It is unsafe to be near Hamas. With more rockets soaring out of Gaza and heavy strikes from air and warships at sea, neither side for the moment seems to be talking about a ceasefire. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Gaza.